What's up, Smartwatch fans? It's Jude here. You're welcome to Smartwatch series. In this video, I have before me the Huawei Band 4 Pro and the Galaxy Fit 2. And these two are some of the most popular and best smart bands on the market. These two are equally very cheap. Basically, what these two do for you is to track your daily activities, help you manage notifications that you receive on your phone, and of course, tell you the time and date. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you my results. I've been comparing these two smart bands for the past couple of weeks. I've compared this against the Galaxy Watch 3 and even the Fitbit Versa 3. These are high-end smartwatches from Fitbit and Samsung. And in this video, we're going to be going in-depth, which is a better smart band between the Band 4 Pro and the Galaxy Fit 2. Let's find out. All right, in this video, we're going to be comparing the design. We're going to be comparing the fitness tracking features. We are going to be comparing um, the notifications management features. We are also going to compare the battery life and of course the respective companion apps of both Band 4 Pro and the Galaxy Fit 2. We're going to start with the design, but before that, please, if you're new to this channel, if you've not subscribed, please click on that subscribe button and of course on the notification bell next to it to get updates from me whenever I upload a video like this. All right, let's start with the design. When are looking at the appearance of both the Band 4 Pro and the Galaxy Fit 2, you can see that these two are very compact. Um, these two are equally very lightweight and comfortable to wear. When you look at the materials, the Band 4 Pro has a stainless steel case, while the Galaxy Fit 2 has a thermoplastic um, case. So the Band 4 Pro looks more attractive. I mean, it looks more decent than the Galaxy Fit 2. Now, when you talk about navigation, on the Band 4 Pro, when you swipe down or you swipe up, you get to see um, the, the apps, the respective widgets. And when you tap on it, you can see the battery life and battery level, the weather and all that. At the bottom is the touch key. You can store a maximum of 15 watch faces on the Band 4 Pro and you can actually change watch faces directly from this device which you cannot do with the Galaxy Fit 2. Now I'm talking about the Galaxy Fit 2 when you swipe left or right you get to see the respective widgets and when you swipe down you can see the, the control panel from here you can set um, the brightness of the device you can also adjust um, set up um, do not disturb and other features at the bottom is the touch key which allows you to go back at any moment you cannot store watch faces on this device which you cannot which you can do with the band 4 pro i'm talking about fitness tracking when you talk about fitness tracking starting with inbuilt gps there is inbuilt gps in the band 4 pro which the galaxy fit 2 lacks and because this has inbuilt GPS, you can actually wear this and out. Um, if you want to track your outdoor activities, you can just wear this and then you go out for your outdoor workout. And this will record your route, your pace, and all that. And it will record it in the Hawaii Health app. Okay. Meanwhile, if you want to track your outdoor activities with the Galaxy Fit 2, then of course you will have to carry your smartphone along. And this comes with its own um, inconveniences. So I had to test, I had to compare these two to the Galaxy Watch 3. And as you can see, the result um, is quite very, um, very close uh, with slight discrepancies. Um, the Galaxy Fit 2 here said I ran for 5.04 kilometers. Okay. Why the Band 4 Pro said I ran for 5.09 kilometers and on the Galaxy Watch 3, it is 5.06 kilometers. I'm talking about the calories burnt, it is 422 kilocalories on the Galaxy Fit 2 and 343 kilocalories on the Band 4 Pro and 386 kilocalories on the Galaxy Watch 3. When you talk about 
the average pace it is six hours six minutes 30 47 seconds per kilometers for the galaxy fit 2 and um six minutes 39 seconds per kilometers for the band for pro and six minutes 39 seconds per kilometers for the galaxy watch 3 so you can see that the figures are just quite um I'm about, about the same with slight differences and if you go further down you can see that the band 4 pro shows other metrics like my vo2 max my recovery time which the band for uh, which the galaxy fit 2 um, doesn't show so as far as outdoor activity tracking is concerned the huawei band 4 pro here is a better device in terms of steps tracking which is one of the basic function of both smart bands when i compare these two to the galaxy watch 3 and um, the mmi band 5 and of course the fitbit versus 3 i would say that the huawei band 4 pro is a better and more accurate step counter than the Galaxy Fit 2. It was more consistent in tracking my steps than the Galaxy Fit 2. Now let's talk about sleep tracking. In talking about sleep tracking, each of these two does a good job in tracking my sleep. I mean, in terms of accuracy, these two um, did a very nice job. So I had to compare the sleep tracking accuracy of both devices to the Fitbit Factor 3. And as you can see, the Galaxy Fit 2 years said I slept for 3 hours um, um, 50 minutes. Why the Band 4 Pro said I slept for 3 hours 49 minutes. And that's um, one minute discrepancy. Meanwhile, the Fitbit Factor 3 said I slept for 3 hours and 25 minutes. The time spent in different stages also differ a little bit. When compared to the Galaxy Watch 3, when I compare the sleep tracking accuracy of um, both my bands to the Galaxy Watch 3, as you can see, the Galaxy Fit 2 said I slept for 6 hours 32 minutes, while the Huawei Band 4 Pro said I slept for 6 hours 4 minutes and it is 6 hours 37 minutes with the Galaxy Watch 3. So there is slight discrepancy as far as sleep tracking accuracy is concerned um, between these two smart bands. But overall, these two do a very decent job in tracking my sleep. When you talk about heart rate tracking, both smart bands um, does a good job in um, tracking my heart rate. And these two, when I compare the heart rate tracking accuracy of both my bands to the Galaxy Watch 3, the result was quite the same with slight discrepancy. So I would say overall, both the Galaxy Fit 2 and the Huawei Band 4 Pro will track your heart rate quite accurately. So as far as heart rate tracking, sleep tracking, and outdoor activity tracking is concerned, I would say that both my bands do a good job, although the Band 4 Pro here has an inbuilt GPS and of course tracks your um, shows your VO2 mass and recovery time with the Galaxy Fit 2 last. So let's talk about what is different as, um, in terms of fitness tracking. There is the SPO2 blood oxygen measurement on the Huawei Band 4 Pro, which the Galaxy Fit 2 lacks. So I had to also compare this to the Galaxy Watch 3, which also has um, blood oxygen measurement and the results were quite about the same and furthermore there is um less preset sport modes on the band 4 pro compared to the galaxy fit 2 where you get a total of 12 pre preset sport modes on the band 4 pro there are about 90 preset sport modes on the galaxy fit 2. on the other hand the galaxy fit 2 features stress measurement this smart band will measure your stress continuously and if you feel stress, okay, you can use the, the breathe function here which will guide you through a breathing session, okay. This can help you return back to camp if you feel stressed and furthermore, there is um, a hand washing app on the Galaxy Fit 2 which the Web and 4 Pro lacks. So that is basically the difference as far as fitness tracking features is concerned between these two smart bands. So let's talk about notification management. Each of these two will allow you receive notifications, okay, 
when you receive notifications on your phone, you will get an alert on both my banks. However, while you can while you can reply to notifications on the Galaxy Fit 2 with quick replies, preset quick replies, you cannot do that with the Band 4 Pro. And that is one aspect where the Galaxy Fit 2 here has a hopper end over the Band 4 Pro. Now going further, let's talk about the battery lives of these two smart bands. I had to compare the battery life of these two. Um, when I compared it, the Huawei Band 4 Pro here lasted just 4 days plus, while the Galaxy Fit 2 here lasted a whooping 10 days plus. So the Galaxy Fit 2 has a longer battery life than the Huawei Band 4 Pro. Now talking about the respective companion apps, the Samsung Galaxy Wearable app allows you to manage the functions of the Galaxy Fit 2 and for you to view your metrics like sleep, um, heart rate, and of course, um, outdoor activity tracks, you have to use the Samsung Health app. Meanwhile, the Huawei Band 4 Pro here, yeah, you can actually manage notifications, um, view your track metrics and all that from the Huawei Health app. So when you talk about which is a better um, app between these two, I would say that each of these two has a very interesting um, and neat user interface that makes it easy for you to find what matters most to you. Overall, the difference between the Galaxy Fit 2 and the Band 4 Pro is that the Galaxy Fit 2 here has a slightly larger display than the Band 4 Pro. In terms of case material, this is more plastic and this is some stainless steel. So this is more attractive than the Galaxy Fit 2. When you talk about the ability to store watch faces on the device, you can store a maximum of 15 watch faces on the Band 4 Pro, which you cannot do with the Galaxy Fit 2. When we talk about um, inbuilt GPS, there's inbuilt GPS in the Band 4 Pro, which the Galaxy Fit 2 lasts. The Band 4 Pro here can also measure VO2 mass. It also allows you to measure your blood oxygen level. Meanwhile, the Galaxy Fit 2 here allows you to measure your stress. It monitors your stress and it has more preset sport modes than the Band 4 Pro. And there is also the hand washing app that can allows you to wash your hand and will also guide you to wash your hand for 20 seconds now this comes handy in helping you um prevent germs especially with covid19 ravaging the world now furthermore there is the quick reply function um, feature on the galaxy fit 2 which allows you to reply to notifications you cannot do that with the band 4 pro and in terms of battery life the galaxy fit 2 has a longer battery life than the band 4 pro all right, guys, so which is a better smart band between the Band 4 Pro and the Galaxy Fit 2? I'm giving you my verdict. If you want to track, if you are going to be tracking outdoor activities, then of course the Huawei Band 4 Pro here is a more sophisticated device, okay? I think this is a more comprehensive device because it has inbuilt GPS, which is very important as far as um, fitness tracking is concerned. This has inbuilt GPS, with the Galaxy Fit 2 Lite, I mean, this allows you to measure blood oxygen with the Galaxy Fit 2 Lite, and it also has VO2 mass with the Galaxy Fit 2 um, also Lite. There is also it also has a better user interface. I mean, you can actually store watch faces on this device, and you can change that from this device, which you cannot do with the Galaxy Fit 2. So for me, the Huawei Band 4 Pro is a better smart band than the Galaxy Fit 2. Meanwhile, the Galaxy Fit 2 here has more precise sport modes. It has a hand washing app. And if you want to actually manage notifications better, then of course the Galaxy Fit 2 comes up. And um, when you talk about battery life, it has a longer battery life. So it depends on what you're going for. I mean, what interests you most, what matters most to you. But for me, in my opinion, the Huawei Band 4 Pro is a better smart band than the Galaxy Fit 2. All right, guys, this is where I draw the curtain for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any question, drop that in the comment section. Until next time, guys, goodbye.